Good morning guys, it is another beautiful day in Cape Town. Unfortunately this is the last day we're staying in Hout Bay in this beautiful house and um, I'm doing something kind of crazy today. So the other day I did a live stream and announced that I'm doing a charity cycle ride from London all the way down to Morocco next month, which is kind of intense, uh, very intense. Lots and lots of cycling and I haven't really um, done much cycling. So I've managed to get a bike, I've managed to get a helmet that fits and I've got a friend waiting for me downstairs who's gonna take me out on a cycle ride today. Um, I feel massively underprepared. We have done a bit of fitness training, but um, I'm kind of underprepared on every level, like my fitness, um, like what do I wear when I go cycling? I don't even know. But I have managed to get some um, more appropriate kind of like um, training clothes. So my friend in the UK has sent over this package. Um, this is his company, Gym Jams. So these clothes are gonna be ideal for my cycle ride today, but they are also gonna be great for kind of working out and training. And um, yeah, I feel like I'm getting more prepared and ready. I've got some, uh, some more suitable trainers as well, not my kind of clunky big boots. And uh, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm a bit of a fraud, but anyway, let me get, let me get changed. Also guys, I managed to borrow some padded shorts for cycling, so this should save my bum. Right, I've got my outfit on. What do you think? This is uh, Eugene, guys, he's gonna be coaching me today. <laughs> he's the expert. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just gonna get my bike out of the car. I'm, I have to go and pick it up, so it's in here. You're gonna suffer on this bike today. Yeah. Yeah, check out Rusty. This. Um, okay, we've uh, done our best job at setting up this fusion camera on the bike, so we'll see how that goes. I've got an external mic so I can chat whilst we're cycling. This could all go horribly wrong, but we'll see. about sustaining that energy all day, it's no hope. So. I think through France there's going to be like a cycle route. The thing I'm worried about is the Pyrenees, the mountain range as we go into Spain. Very steep hill. Oh. 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 How are you feeling? Yeah. I'm uh, feeling, feeling. You must take me for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Woo. That was tough. Guys, that was an epic bike ride. Thanks again to Eugene for taking me out. I feel a bit more confident that I can do. I mean, it's, we're still going to be doing crazy distances, but I feel like. 
that was actually quite easy this morning, other than the, the last little leg up to the house, that steep hill. Anyway, I've spent the rest of the afternoon just chilling, relaxing with Raya, getting some editing done, and she's just called me upstairs because apparently there's an insane sunset right now. Whoa. Guys, check this sunset out. Oh, the colors are just insane. Today's been good. It's been good to, I guess, just gauge my fitness level and see how well I can do on a bike. And although we didn't do cover a lot of distance, I think it's um, reassured me that even cycling 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers there and back, kind of mostly uphill, um, it was still it was still relatively easy and I feel like obviously I'm going to be covering a lot more per day but um, yeah I think I think I'm feeling a little bit more more reassured the other thing I wanted to explain guys is what the cycle ride is raising money for basically um, I think there's gonna be I don't know like maybe up to 20 people doing it um, it's all for the charity regenerate which I've been helping on and off at for like more than 10 years. I used to volunteer there, I used to work with them, and I've even taken you guys uh, over the last couple of years to places where there's projects running that Regenerate are supporting. So whether that's been in Kenya, in the Kuru with the children's home, or going over to Romania and seeing some of the stuff there. Um, these guys are really, really cool. And Andy Smith, who heads up Regenerate, he's been a big inspiration and kind of mentor to me in my life. And I don't think I'd be where I am today without Regenerate. But the stuff that we're specifically raising money for are these projects where they take underprivileged young people from London who are at risk. Maybe they've just come out of gangs or just come out of prison and basically they take them on these trips to um, developing countries and projects happening with people in real poverty. And it's kind of... Yeah, I guess it's twofold. It's like supporting the people in those local places, but also it's transformational for these young people that are coming out from London. And it's kind of, um, I guess it's it's repositioning their, uh, their understanding of who they are in the world and showing that they can be um, empowered to help people. So for me, seeing these trips over the last decade, empowering young people from London, it's a really worthy cause guys and I will link the website below where you can see a bit more about it and you can check a little video out now about the trip from Regenerate. So having done Regenerate for now the last 18 years the thing that I've seen that makes the biggest difference is when you're taking young people that you're working with out of their current environments. Often they're the life-changing trips where it does something inside of people. We took some young people to Romania where we met a, a lady who's lived in a house made out of mud. Some guys from the estate here said, that's not right, let's raise the money, let's build her a house. Or there's young people that have gone to Kenya, they've seen some of the poverty and it's had an impact on them and they've decided, oh, I wanna make a difference. There are no jobs for these kids that were living on the street and so they've helped set up social enterprises that created loads of jobs. Other guys have said it's not right that people or kids are living on the street, so we've raised money and helped build houses for kids. It's the young people from our estates that are doing these things that are making a difference. When we are thinking about how do we fund that, how do we raise the money to do these projects, we need to do something big. We thought we could do a sponsored bike ride. And then someone had a crazy idea, why don't we ride our bikes from the estate to Africa? And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna ride our bikes from London south basically until we get to Africa. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard. We've got to go over mountains. <laughs> so if that sounds like something you guys want to support and get behind, please do. I'll link it below and obviously you can follow along the whole trip as well as I'm kind of vlogging and posting clips from the fusion like I did today of, of the bike ride. Um, and you can just, yeah, hopefully spur us on. It would mean a lot to me guys if you can get behind us. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life, live the adventure, boom.